Alrighty, what well, morning everybody? Well, I finished up my stream here about a half hour ago. So, and um, I'm working currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, but like usual, I'm at a point where I find it easier to just make a video about what I'm wanting to talk about than having to type down this mile-long wall of text. So, And uh, also, like I usually do, I'm going to have some music going in the background. Uh, this time around, it's going to be Draken. Uh, it's actually my all-time favorite video game soundtrack. So, let me go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to showcase this, uh, this new old team that I got recently. This is actually a variation on an old one. Um, it's my Dragonola team, in fact. I'm trying to remember what, uh... I guess I should have planned this out a little better. I kind of want to show what my uh, old version was. So, I guess... Let's do this. Dragon Soul in there, that's what it was. So, so yeah, I'm gonna show the um, the old version that I had. And because I have a bad memory, I can't remember uh, the name of the weapon I used. And apparently, this wasn't it. got off to a bad start. Like I said, I'm bad with names. I've got uh, memory issues, so I'm gonna have to find this on accident. Yeah, Mesa Claus. So yeah, this was my original one. Again, I, um, I actually did make a video about this some time ago. This is the, um, my original one. Now, my new version. Let's go ahead and clear it. It's now, um, Doom Hall. This is gonna replace, uh, it's gonna replace my weapon. Um, just... Deal some heavy splash damage. Then plus four for tempering level, and so plus forty. And then this is also this is also an anti-red weapon. So it's gonna stun all the red enemies and it's gonna cleanse all my allies, which is because I cleanse my team, it's gonna come in handy, it's gonna blow up some gems. Um if the enemy also has a doom, blow up three more. And then um Dragon Guard is a class, as it's kind of obvious. This is a big one right here, big cornerstone. All other dragons are going to get uh, one life magic. Four or five gem matches. Okay, and then... Actually, my mom... I should have planned this better, but at a new uh, a new journey, new journey event is out this week, and um, just like um, all those others, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a looper troop, a looper trooper. So again, Pathfinder, create three red gems boosted by dragon allies, and again it loops. And then, but just like the, just like all the other ones, you know, Chalcedony here is the brown version. Seeker here is the purple version. 
And then you got this guy. I'm gonna sound check this real fast. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit distracting on my end. But anyway, so this guy's the engine. He's the one that keeps his team running. So once again, you're creating some red gems, most of the dragon allies. My whole entire team is all dragons. Um, I mentioned this earlier, so Ally Dragons gain one life in magic. We gain a whole lot of life in magic with that. And then we got an all time classic here in Divinia. A random positive status effect. And then she also blows up red gems, comes in handy in a pinch. And she also cleanses everybody and actually heals them as well. got Rubereth, and we got give two magic to all red allies when matching red gems, so and some of the firestorm, but yeah, she's, but yeah, this is gonna boost the living hell out of these guys, and they got deals damage to all enemies, boost by red gems, um, theoretically, you should already have a fair amount of red gems out there, but I, in actuality, it's not always the case. So, and then, now that I think about it, this team here, um, if I can even remember the name of it, yeah, Men in Tights. They almost kind of resemble each other, because, I mean, same thing here, but, um, with, uh, Persistence, oh, Four to all skills and match four or more gems. This is the this team here also um builds up their stats over time. I can't remember what he had. Boosted my attack left. LS2 to all skills. So yeah. So my Dragonola is uh almost like a red version of this team. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this team off for a walk. I'm gonna do a, uh, gonna do a few uh, explore battles, and then I'll probably do a PVP battle or two. Just showing y'all what it can do. And then, um, you'll actually want to start with green matches, and then fail on that, then you'll want to go for the red ones. You want to keep the red gems on the board. Like I said, I ain't got no greenies. I got to go in there. Alright, so, now, one weakness this team does have, um, one's going to be glaringly obvious, but another one, I don't... Stealth can kind of give this team a little. The stealth can kind of give this team a few problems. So especially what uh, as far as uh, splash damage is concerned. Yeah, and then we cast this, and then again this uh. Oh, and it also uh, creates a firestorm, and it also stuns all red enemies. So, it'll stun the stealth off. But... And then Ruberath typically 
I use him as a finisher? Oh, almost, but not quite. But yeah, by the because by the time here, by the time I'm even able to cast him, I probably are gonna have a fair amount of red gems on the board. Or even if, if I wasn't gonna be using it to finish a match, I'd probably have to hunt down any uh, four and five gem matches, get them out of the way first. Cause currently there'd be a 34% chance, but again, it you're you're basically handing over. You're handing the turn over to your opponent, so that's why I just use him as a finisher. Same thing, I'm looking for greens. But yeah, some of these uh, some of these battles, you might end up being being against uh, like two or three stealthy enemies. It makes targeting real tricky. Done the stealth off him. There goes all my hard work. get the idea as to how this works. Oh, oh. I just remember with the, uh, the wrong one. When you're getting when you're getting four matches, I mean they're all getting uh life and magic. You gotta do uh
Almost. But um, something else too, I keep forgetting to mention, but you need a firestorm going up practically at all times. In order to, in order to basically keep him, keep him up and running. But yeah, oftentimes, uh, especially when doing the journey, some enemies will turn this into a dark storm. So, you'll need to be able to cast this almost immediately after. this um i'll i'll try this in pvp now earlier during my stream i have i have had success in pvp with this team um beating most other opponents Here's a, um, and like I said earlier, stealth can give this team a problem, especially when they're not red. So, I'm basically only going to be able to hit her last, or at least directly. Okay, so let's let's do a PvP battle or two. And uh I also have it as my defense team too. So, uh normally I wouldn't use uh I guess a skull damage team, I normally prefer to defer to my uh, rock band team. They're most capable of withstanding it, but purely for demonstration purposes, uh, kind of against my better judgment, I'll go ahead and try it with this one. it only affects the damage. And unfortunately, the uh, Cyclopses are all immune to stun, so...
Maybe. Okay. Well, came out with a win, but I still would rather use my Rock Band team for a skull damage team like that. Okay. I seen this team here earlier during my stream. It's one of those novelty groups. Take a drink of water. Oh, yeah. Like I said, Ruben Rath is my finisher. Uh, kind of in it. I think I used my uh, rock band team for this, because, uh... Yeah, that charm, charm ability. Go ahead and steer clear of that one. Oh, uh. kind of ballsy. It's looking like this battle is going to be a foregone conclusion. There it goes. Oh, got lucky. Thought he was going to get a four match in there. Start working on her a little bit. Maybe. Almost, but not quite. I'm gonna go get transformed. And he died anyway. I think he got hit with Reflect. Alrighty, well, I just wanted to go ahead and do a demo of that team, so... Let me uh, set to getting this uh, video all prepped up and uploaded to YouTube and all that other good stuff. And then I'll keep going on my blog post. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.